GA Classic. Hey, it wrapped up yesterday, but now without an eventful final round, there was some drama there. Jennifer Kupcho, she's uh, taken the win after being neck and neck with Nellie Corda most of the day. Now, Kupcho finished with a one under 71 match during the day. She matched playing partner Kelly Corda and Leona McGuire at 18 under for the tournament. So there was a playoff, and Kupcho birdied both playoff holes. Corda, last year's winner, missed her putt in the first round and was eliminated from the playoff. And then Leona McGuire's three birdie try lipped out, which left Jennifer, the 2022 Meyer LPGA Classic winner. Kupcho says she was proud of her win, especially with such a close battle at the end. This is the second win for her, her career on the tour in early April. Kupcho had a major win at Mission Hills in California. Congratulations, Jennifer. Hey, the construction at Rosa Park Circle has finally come to an end, and they've rededicated the ecliptic following the rehabilitation project. The large-scale piece of art was created back in the year 2000 and had seen its toll from the elements over the past 20 years. Now, improvements at the ecliptic in Rosa Park Circle include upgrades to the existing stage, replacement of the existing concrete rings with durable granite, renovations to the restroom building, new granite and wood benches, interpretive signage, upgraded trail surfacing, and additional shade trees. That's a lot they did. Hey, Grand Rapids officials say a new 3D bronze plaque and site map will be installed later this summer. Now, most people who go to Stella's Lounge come for the burgers, right? But now vegetarians and vegans can join in on the dining experience. The restaurant launched a brand new menu with an expanded selection of vegetarian and vegan options. Now, this menu features six items, including the not chicken tostadas, shrimp rangoon mac and cheese, and a variety of salads. The menu was created in response to customer feedback. The idea, according to the menu, was to create great vegan or vegetarian food that's fun, not boring, and maybe even a little spicy. Speaking of food, your food ordered a la carte now could just roll up in a cart. It's service, not with a smile, but <clears throat> with two big saucer eyes, maybe some beeps and bells from Zoe or Quinn or another one of the named Uber Eats sidewalk robot carts. There you see it in action as it takes off down the sidewalk. Uber Eats is using a network of Serve Robotics autonomous vehicles to drop orders off to customers in a pilot in and around Hollywood, California. Now the robots are assigned based on proximity and customer meeting arrangements. The Serve Robotics carts may take a little longer because preparers do have to bring the food to the cart, but the novelty and the fun is helping restaurants kind of take a look at the future for autonomous delivery. Hey, today, skip the morning cup of joe and grab yourself a cold vanilla milkshake. Why? Well, today is National Vanilla Milkshake Day. Every year on June 20th, the flavor that serves as the base for most all other milkshakes is honored. FYI, a vanilla milkshake was not always made with ice cream. I don't know if you know this, but according to the National Day calendar, people in 1885 served their milkshakes with whiskey instead. Of course, that all changed in the early 1900s, and ice cream was added to the now wholesome drink. By the 1930s, it was a hit in vault shops everywhere.